Welcome back to the Digital Transformer Guy channel. Imagine coming home from work or a vacation. Let's assume your home is an apartment. As you settle in, you notice some expensive things missing. If you have a video surveillance system, you check the video and don't notice anything unusual until you come across a mysterious 15 minute gap in your video stream. What would you do? Watch the following clip because a lady had this bad experience more than once. She finally had enough. So her man friend, or whoever he is, boyfriend, whoever, helped her set up a second video surveillance system, this time powered by a backup supply unit that is not plugged into the electricity supply. Pay attention because that's an important detail. Let's watch. So, um, my name is Austin Rogers. I'm with the Asphalt County Police Department, okay? So right now I'm investigating a theft okay. of one of your maintenance guys. Okay. Um, are any of your maintenance guys working today? They're both here. They're both here? Okay. Do you know their names? Yeah, of course. Dave and Tim. Dave and Tim. Okay. On April 28th, 2023, officers responded to a fancy apartment complex in downtown Athens after a report of a theft. The woman reported that it was actually her maintenance man. What he didn't know is that she's assumed to be lawyer and knows exactly how to get the evidence. She needs to put it behind bars. At which point I've cut it to switch to, you know, and, and all of the raw videos on there too, but the combined one, after 30 seconds of the living room, you see him, it's like it switches to the point of view from inside the drawer, you know, you see them, and then it switches back for him to turn back on the power and leave and everything. Uh, so here, here he is. And there's sound, which is key for everyone. And he speaks really this. It's not worth it. Oh my lord. Great camera view. This guy. Good job. Good job. That guy looks sketchy. And the last key part is when the power gets switched back on, you know, the heat cut. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That distinct sound of a breaker turning back on. He, when he initially ended, like before he gets in the drawer, <coughs> he comes over near our camera. We had a, we had a deep point. We had camera. a deep point. He had just, he had, we had, we had confirmed once we knew he was aware that we had a camera and it wouldn't, it, it, it would make noise when it, it would, it was loud. It, it was like a little servo motor that's mean and obvious. He knew about that. That's why he shut the power. Well, then we did, we put a, an uninterruptible uninter power supply in. And did I've, uh, just seeing that, I've, I've got enough to go make the arrest. Wow. Um, just, I guess, what, so what's happening? Can you identify him? Yeah, I can. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Is that Mr. Tim? Okay, uh, she also said that she's noticed things missing around her apartment. That's why she put in the cameras in the first place. Is that all you did? You didn't do anything else? You didn't go through no drawers, anything like that? No, no, no. no. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, that's all I want to know. Are you 100% positive? You didn't do anything else? Not that I think of. Okay. Why? Wow, what's up? Um, well, I have video footage saying else okay so is there anything you want to tell me um, what what did i do what did, i mean what's all that well i mean you, you you tell me i mean i know what's on there but you went into there into the apartment complex yeah um i've identified you as far as management goes i've yeah. been here three years i ain't never i told your manager i ain't never been in this building i've been working yeah. here for three years which is amazing beautiful building though by the way Y'all upkeep it pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's a um, I imagine so. <laughs> um, but uh, I have video footage uh, that says Elks. Okay. Well, what is? I mean, what does this video footage say? Not really obligated to say right now. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Doing good, man. All right, do me a favor. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You got a warrant for your arrest. Ow. 
Do you know what you're being charged with at this time? No, sir. You're being charged with theft by taking, misdemeanor, and possession of a Schedule II substance. Possession of a Schedule II substance? Yes, sir. What is that? Possession of a Schedule II substance? Well, what is a Schedule II substance? Like, stuff like that. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. Specifically, I believe, that all. Yeah. So as you saw, her male friend did a pretty good job setting a technology trap for the sneaky maintenance guy. The video evidence got him arrested and fired from his job at the apartment complex. But how could this clever use of technology be even better and more convenient? Could they have set up a notification system so that once the maintenance guy opens the circuit breaker box or switches off the main power, the tenant gets notified immediately? Or could AI technology backed with cloud computing and microservices have been used to detect a human walking around in the apartment? One wrong move, one missed detail, and lives change forever. In moments like this, every second counts so that you don't become uncomfortable in your own home knowing a prowler can easily walk in and snoop around. But what if your home security system could react just as fast as a burglar enters? Police rely on instant intel. Your home security should too. Let's explore how your smart cam becomes a digital first responder. It's not just motion. Your AI cam sees, understands, decides, then alerts you in seconds. Machine vision filters out squirrels and swaying trees. It targets what matters, human intent and behavior. Think of microservices like a digital newsroom. Each microservice is a reporter, editor, or dispatcher. Together, they deliver breaking news straight to your pocket. Your devices don't just get notified, they get curated intelligence, customized for your location and context. Imagine your home camera as a sentinel, scanning, decoding, dispatching a digital signal, the instant danger lurks. Let's go through the kinds of AI digital technology that can track and trap the bad guys instantly and help you feel more safe and secure. Here are some high-tech best practices for home and apartment surveillance. As a business and technology consultant with over 30 years experience, I take you deeper behind the scenes to the same kinds of planning and design the big dogs use in large and smaller corporations. Number one best practice, power resilience. Staying online even when the grid goes down like our cop cam video guy. Uninterruptible power supply or UPS. Power cameras and key sensors independently of the apartment's main breaker panel. Another one, solar and battery backups. Portable panels and small lithium batteries can keep IoT devices powered for hours or days. IoT is Internet of Things. Another one, diverse power sources. Split devices between main power and UPS or solar to ensure not all fail at once. Number two, redundant video storage. Cloud storage. Cameras stream to the cloud. Imagine AWS S3 buckets, Azure Blob Storage, and Google Drive. So cutting power doesn't erase evidence. Our tenant in this real life cop cam case study backed up her video to an external hard drive, which was good, but what if that drive had got lost or damaged? Remember, the apartment manager asked for the drive from that cop to load it up in her system. What if she accidentally dropped the hard drive? Another one, edge and cloud hybrid. Store locally on encrypted SD cards with automatic syncing to the cloud for redundancy. That's a little more expensive, of course. Also, tamper detection. Some cloud-enabled cameras immediately upload the last 30 seconds of footage if disconnected. That's very important. All right, number three best practice, AI-powered surveillance. Smart motion detection. AI distinguishes between a pet, a tenant, or intruder, reducing false alarms. Another one, object recognition. Detects unusual activities like a person holding tools near the breaker box. Another one, facial recognition. Alerts you if an unrecognized person is in the home while you're away. And then behavioral analytics. 
AI can flag suspicious patterns such as repeated trips to the breaker boxes. Hmm, very smart. Fourth best practice, multi-channel notifications. Mobile push alerts, immediate app notifications with a video clip when suspicious activity is detected. Another one, SMS and email backups, you know, texting. Ensure alerts go through even if the apps fail. Another one, automated police alerts. Some services with opt-in and regional compliance notify local law enforcement when verified threats occur. Then voice assistant integration. Alexa, Google Assistant can announce intrusions in real time. Okay, fifth best practice. Microservices and cloud integration. Event-driven architecture. Camera service detects activity. AI analysis service verifies anomaly. Notification service pushes alerts to you. Storage device saves video clips to the cloud. And then serverless functions like Azure Functions, AWS, Lambda. Trigger automated workflows such as send video clips to the police if AI confidence is greater than 90%. And then APIs for smart home integration. Lock doors, turn on lights, or trigger alarms when cameras detect intrusion. Number six best practice. Smart sensors beyond cameras. Breaker tamper sensors. Magnetic sensors that alert if breaker boxes or panels are accessed. And then door window IoT sensors. Detect force entry even if cameras are disabled. Environmental sensors. Detect abnormal vibrations, smoke, or chemical sprays, such as attempts to blind cameras. Now, obviously, this level of technology can get expensive, so make sure the cost is worth whatever you're trying to protect. But in any case, it might be hard to quantify the price of peace of mind. Okay, the number seven best practice, privacy and security hardening. Zero trust device authentication. Cameras and sensors authenticate with cloud services via secure tokens, not static passwords. This is important because you don't want hackers taking over your system with their own cameras and monitoring. Then there's end-to-end -end encryption. Ensure live feeds and recordings are encrypted in transit and at rest. In other words, the path the notification takes from your apartment to your mobile device has to be secure as it hops from your home to your provider nearest server, then to another cloud destination before it makes it to your device. All of that pathway has to be protected from sophisticated bad guys trying to hack it. And then you have role-based access control. Apartment tenants can grant limited viewing rights to trusted landlords, family, or security personnel. This is important if you're overseas on vacation, for instance. Then you have VPN or private network. Cameras transmit via an encrypted tunnel, making them harder to intercept. And then finally, the number eight best practice, practical example, automated intrusion workflow. Recall the bad maintenance guy from the cop cam. He once again cuts power at the main breaker, for instance. With more advanced technology, number two, the UPS-powered IoT camera continues recording this event. Step three, AI detects suspicious activity. In this case, the bad maintenance guy tampers with the circuit breaker. And then step four, cloud-based microservice triggers. Video clip uploaded to the cloud. SMS and app alert sent to the apartment tenant. Optional step, an alert is sent to local police if configured. And then finally, smart lock engages and light switch on automatically. And that's pretty much the overview of state-of-the-art AI technology to make your home even safer and more quickly adaptive to internal threats. So the next time your doorbell rings or motion sets off an alert, remember, it's not just tech. It's your personal command center powered by AI. If your camera isn't smart enough to know the difference between a squirrel and a stranger, it's time to upgrade. Subscribe now and stay one step ahead. But real quick, do me a favor. Please like, share, subscribe so we can keep this new channel growing. Until next time, take care.